Hi, and welcome to our top five tips from professional writing for visual artists bootcamp, a class that I, Faith Holland, um, run with Liz Sales. Oh. Um, we're going to tell you a little bit about the class, and then we're going to get into our five, top five strategies that we teach you during the course. Um, so the purpose of the course is to help you to develop a strong portfolio of writing that you need as a professional artist. And this includes a biography, a CV, project statements and proposals, press releases and related writing, and an artist statement. We teach you the style guidelines and strategies to produce text beyond the workshop with confidence. So you develop the strong portfolio, but then you also learn how to make these documents yourself as you continue to work and write. So here are our best favorite tips. First, get organized. Um, I think a lot of people get intimidated by different organizational systems, but actually whatever works best for you is the best system. So if you already have something in place when you are organizing your applications, your grants, your residencies, exhibition proposals, that is actually what's gonna be the best for you. Um, but we also go over some suggestions that include Trello, Papier and Todoist and help you implement those things as part of your um, workflow. Two, bio. Begin your bio with a bang, a one to two sentence elevator pitch that tells the reader who you are as an artist. So it's not just a list of accomplishments, but you're really getting to introduce who you are as an artist, what media you work with, what themes, and what is your conceptual framework and draw people in. Uh, project statements. So when you're writing a statement about a specific discrete body of work, consider starting with a story. That way you can lead the reader in with a narrative account and uh, relate through that story your inspiration and motivation for making the work. Four, press releases. A whole complex of documents is needed to support a press release, but when you're sending the press release out to a journalist or an editor, you should make it as easy for them as possible, which means including everything they need in one email. The pitch, which describes the project in brief, the release, and a link to a press kit that has images that are clearly organized and labeled. So artist statements, a lot of people are intimidated by the idea of writing a general artist statement about their overarching uh, practice. So uh, don't start with a blank page, um, talk to a friend, or if you're taking our class, your accountability partner, your writing partner, and tell them about your practice, have them ask you follow-up questions and record the session. And then you can use some kind of app like Otter to transcribe that recording and you can start with a rich set of notes rather than a blank page. So those are our favorite tips from the class, but if you're interested in learning more and you want some more support, maybe you want to join our professional writing for visual artists bootcamp class. The class is going to run beginning March 1st to April 5th on Tuesday evenings between six and eight. And it's all going to take place online in Zoom. And all the materials for the class, including past classes, will be on Google Classroom. And we're going to teach it. So if you're trying to figure out if this class is for you, um, think about these questions. Do you struggle to put your artistic practice into words? Do you have a body of work, but you're not sure how to write about that body of work? And um, does that restriction make you feel constricted and unable to apply for grants or residencies or exhibitions with confidence or at all? Um, if you feel that way and it keeps you from taking your career to the next level because you don't have a polished portfolio of writing to submit to applications or to the press or to review committees, then this is an opportunity for you to create those documents and um, feel more confident getting your work out into the world. Um, so in the class, we strive to teach you certain things. We want you to learn to articulate the process and ideas behind your work in a concisely written artist statement, project statement, and press release. Learn to compose compelling biographies and professionally crafted CVs. 
you'll learn to mobilize writing for applications, press outreach, and self-promotion, such as on social media and your website. And overall, you'll learn to um, understand the professional practices of an active artist, of which writing is a crucial part. And as part of the class, there are a number of benefits. So each class is going to begin with an easy to follow presentation with techniques and guidance on how to produce a particular kind of writing. Liz, do you want to talk about accountability partners? Sure. Uh, so each person in the class is assigned an accountability partner, uh, a working partner, and they meet with that person once a week outside of class, you know, usually sort of midweek. And um, the, together you set goals um, and bounce ideas off each other and uh, uh, share writing sort of uh, midweek in order to come back to class uh, already having a second set of eyes on your work. We also meet with every student individually um, for a 30 minute one on one session where you can focus in on anything you might be having difficulty with, uh, with the both of us. We also both edit every single piece of writing that you produce as part of the class, and we offer detailed feedback such as um, line edits, conceptual suggestions, and ways to reorganize your writing. And the class includes an archive of every single class, which will be recorded, as well as access to all the presentations and any other related materials that we go over in class. Uh, so now we'll tell you a little bit about us because we'll be teaching the class. Uh, my name is Liz Sales and I'm an artist and art writer and educator. And for me, these are all linked elements of my practice, which inform one another. Uh, so writing about other artists informs my own art and also my teaching, just as teaching uh, informs the way I make art and write about art. And I consider writing a structured way of thinking about visual artwork, right? Um, a way of sort of externalizing the thought process. And I think that that uh, externalization has the power to change your art practice itself uh, and uh, get your ideas out into the world, both about your work and other people's work. And that in itself is a way of uh, building community. And I'm Faith Holland. I'm an artist, curator, critic, and educator. My own practice is hybrid in nature. I work in multiple media and I bring all of those different perspectives to the table in my writing and also my teaching. Um, I believe that writing helps make the work. So the work um, gets made, then you write about it and then it helps you to make more work. Um, I think that writing should be precise, clear, but also exciting. And to that end, international art English doesn't help anyone. Um, I would prefer a small word over a $5 word any day of the week, and I don't believe in empty rhetoric or jargon. And I think that writing is a way of participating in the world with your work, with your ideas, and within your community at large. And so those are our top five tips and a little bit about the class. Below, you'll find a link to sign up to join us um, this spring, and I really look forward to seeing you then. Thanks, and bye. Bye-bye.